Hello students welcome to another lecture on logic design As you know we are in the process of studying conversions namely decimal to binary conversions There are two methods to convert a decimal number into binary sum of weights and double dabble In this video I will explain the double dabble method This method is a very simple method Given a decimal number we take the integer part of the number and successively divide it by 2 till the quotient is 0 then we take the fractional part of the decimal number and we multiply it by 2 till the fraction part of the product becomes 0 to better understand this method let us take an example for example convert 52.75 to the base 10 to binary note that this example has an integer part and a fractional part let us take the integer part that is 52 we take 52 and divide it successively by 2 and record the remainder so we start by taking 52 and divide it by 2 we get 26 as the quotient and record the remainder as 0 next we take 26 and divide it by 2 we get 13 as the quotient and the remainder is 0 we now take 13 and divide it by 2 we get 6 as the quotient and the remainder is 1 we now divide 6 by 2 and we get 3 as the quotient and the remainder is 0 next we divide 3 by 2 we get 1 as the quotient and the remainder is 1 now we divide 1 by 2 and we get 0 as the quotient and the remainder is recorded as 1 since the quotient now reads as 0 the process has stopped next we read the remainders from bottom to top to record the result as 110100 moving on to the fractional part of the number that is 0.75 in this the procedure is to successively multiply this fraction by 2 and save the integer value of the resulting product so we start by taking 0.75 the fractional part of the decimal number and multiply it by 2 the product is 1.50 we record the integer part of the product which is 1 next we take the fractional part of the product which is 0.50 and again multiply it by 2 we get the product as 1.00 so we record the integer part of this product which is 1 the fractional part of the product is now 0.00 since it is 0 we stop the successive multiplication by 2 we read the recorded numbers from top to bottom as 1 1 therefore the fractional part of the equivalent binary number is 0.11 in conclusion we have recorded the integer part of the decimal number or its equivalent as 110100 and the fractional part as 11 putting these two together along with the decimal point we get the number 
जीरो वन जीरो जीरो पॉइंट वन वन दैट्स ऑल फॉर नाउ ट्राई योर हैंड एट डेसिमल टू बाइनरी कन्वर्शन विद द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स यूजिंग डबल डबल मेथड एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू कनेक्ट टू द क्लासरूम फॉर फर्दर वीडियोज एंड लर्निंग मटीरियल